Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and today we'll be taking a close look at the new Catacombs expansion rulebook. Okay, so I've already done an unboxing of the Warcry Catacombs, and I'll put a link here on the screen for you and in the comment section below so you can check that out. But today I want to take a closer look at the Catacombs book itself. Now, with the actual box set you get two books you get the original core book and the catacombs book and you need both of these to play the box does say that it's got everything you need to play in it and you do but there are a few things just to be aware of um, especially with the core rule book they haven't like updated it from the original core set so there are some things included in here that you don't get in the box set so if we look at the terrain there's going to be some terrain in in the core rule book that isn't included in the box so you're either going to have to pick that up somewhere else uh, make your own which is what I'm going to do um, or just improvise with some other terrain you've already got it also doesn't come with a chaotic beast which adds an element to the game of these extra kind of um, like monsters coming in during the battle but you can buy those separately and I've, I've ordered them and I'll be doing a review so you can see uh, what you get in the box and how that kind of is used in the core rules as well and another thing you don't get are the battle cards so you don't get all the the battle uh, plan generators the deployment cards the victory table and the twists but they are included in the book and you can you can just roll so they're all numbered so you can roll for each one or you can of course like photocopy them print off your own and make your own card set uh, because you don't have the terrain, you're also going to be limited on some of the campaigns in the section. But again, just make your own or, or pick it up somewhere else. And then you could play everything from this book by doing that. But the Catacombs, that comes with some extra new terrain all featured in the in the dungeon, like the doors and the bridges. Um, so that's all included and gives some extra maps you can play anyway. So you're not going to be disappointed. I really love this box set and so glad I got it. Right, so let's put the core book to one side and let's take a closer look at the catacombs okay so right away the covers really set in the scene with the scions of flame fighting with the the unmade in this real grim dark style so i love the cover the back i was it's got the kind of shadow stalkers roll tables and background on it's a bit strange being on the back of the book i'd like to have seen something else there but i guess it doesn't really matter Okay, so inside we see the contents. We've got 66 pages of Warcry Catacombs with all the expansions, extra campaigns, more fated quests, some spores of victory and some new rules that are specific to the dungeon play. And here we've got the nice introduction that tells us all about Faranthax's Moor, which is an immense cinder-spewing forge complex built into the skeleton of a great drake. And this descends deep beneath the earth in a series of warrens, lava channels and foreboding underground temples. So this is a really cool direction I think that, it, that the game's going in where it's taking us from above ground down into the dungeons. And then it explains a little bit more about all that but here and gives you a little look at the the new board and the new kind of like vibe to the whole thing. And here we go, so here's the box contents. So this is everything you get in the Warcry Catacombs box. We've got some of the terrain that came from the original core set. So this would be for above ground. Of course you can use all these scatter pieces here as well if you wanted to. But here's all the really cool new stuff. And when I was looking at it before I got the, core, the, the box set, I wasn't sure about these doors, but when I got them, the detail's fantastic and they're so good. And it really reminds me of like Hero Quest, kind of Dungeons and Dragons. So a really good, good feel to it. And then we've got the, the kind of shadow stalkers, signs of the flame, the card packs, the dice. So everything you need is here. It's a shame the card pack isn't included, but um, I bought it separately. So I'll go through that in another video so you can see see what that's like and decide if it's something you want to purchase yourself or just carry on using the books and using them as like a roll table. There's no problem. Here we are. And now we start going into some nice artwork, looking at Ferenthax's more in a bit more detail war in the depths so you've got the signs of the flame and the, the canine shadow stalkers there in battle and a really nice map 
the taking us under the ground showing us all the new locations and i guess this will be featured later on in the campaign section and then we've got a little bit of background on each of the war bands so in the same style of the original core book and then we go into some really nice photography here showing off the new terrain pieces with the new the new war bands bringing in some of the older additions and also showing how you can use like height to add some different levels to it which i think is really nice and now we've got the signs of the flame some close-ups of the miniatures which look great they look so cool and another one here seeing them in action and then the canine shadow stalkers the assassins this is really nice i'm really looking forward to building these which i'll be doing a video of so look out for that and then we've got some more photography of the different warbands so we've got the skaven the splintered fang all different ones and showing some different scenarios even more there which is really good i like seeing the more of the photography than the the actual artwork i think this is really good and now we go into the kind of more of the specific rules to war cry catacombs and this tells us we're going to get like a new campaign section for the Kano, uh, shadow stalkers and the signs of the flame and there's going to be some fated quests for all the other war bands to play and then a bit on the kind of setting up of the new terrain so you've got some new features like where the bridges they can become like damaged or weakened and so they can collapse um, every time someone stands on them, you have to roll to check check for damage on the bridges so that's a really going to be a really interesting element of gameplay and also you've got like these lines here which are all like the walls so you'll see where are we so here we've got some like some new rules with distances so if you're close to a wall it's going to kind of you're going to the idea is you're in the shadows so you, the enemy's not going to see you if they're so many inches away and then you've got doors which you can use a lever to like close so you can block off sections of the battlefield you can trap your opponents behind them things like that so that's going to be fun to see how that works and here's the bit on the weakened bridges and a close-up on these doors and there's so many paint schemes you can do for these so i'm going to be going with more of a greeny kind of turquoise for the skulls for sure i love this metallic bridge really good and then we've got some really awesome scatter terrain uh, they've got the arm stash if you're close to that within an inch you're going to get plus one and you've got the sewer which is can be used as another entrance so during the the different stages you can bring your players right in wherever wherever that's positioned the levers they're really nice and then we've got some new dungeon abilities so here we go we've got the ones that are spe uh, for all war bands here and then some specific ones uh, two for the Corvus Cabal, which I think is awesome because they're my favourite war band to play. And it's really cool. We've got this wall run and run in strike. So it's going to be really, really fun. And now we get a look of the actual one side of the board, which is the actual like catacombs with all the, the lava and everything. So this is like out of bounds. And you've got the bridges and all these like black lines would be where there'd be walls. And I think it'd be cool to like make some some terrain to use as the walls. Maybe not too high because that's going to obscure a lot of the the area. But we could certainly do something to represent the walls rather than these lines. I think that'd be really nice. And we go on to the battle generator. Uh, so you've got the deployment cards, and these you can't buy these yet. Hopefully they'll be releasing them soon. So you'd have to use them from the book as a roll table and the victory cards so you get 12 of each of these the twist cards and then some terrain cards specifically for the terrain that comes with the warcry catacombs and now we've got the campaign section so this is featured featuring campaigns for the kind shadow stalkers and the signs of the flame and for your other war bands there'll be some fated quests you can play in here too 
and this is starting to bring us into those areas on the maps now. So you get three for the Kynite Shadow Stalkers and two for Signs of the Flame. And then we've got our Fated Quests. And this is for all the different warbands. So any of the warbands you play, you can run these Fated Quests. And finally, the Spoils of Victory. So this is where you find whether you choose like honor or glory, this is where you get your rewards. And then some specific ones for the two war bands included in the, in the box. And then there we go to the, uh, the final page at the back, the Kinect Shadow Stalkers. This is their background roll tables for names, origins, favored warrior background, that kind of thing. Okay, so there we go. That's the Warcry Catacombs expansion book. And I'm really happy with the set. I think it's great. I love the direction it's going in. Have you picked up the box set yet? If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description below where you can go to Element Games. That's who I've used in the past. They're really good, great delivery, and well stocked with all the different accessories, warbands, everything you need. Let me know what you think of the game. I'd love to hear what you think of the new direction that Warcry is going in. Thanks for watching. Like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like these, and I'll see you next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.